What we did after I received the letter from the Governor General, and especially the portion that relates to 188 signatures did not match with the election records that they have. First and foremost, I set out quietly to do was to consult with the attorneys and see what remedy can be done to them. And part of it that was very offensive because in my humble opinion that elections are boundaries and the chief elections officer, maybe like they say, because the job lies on her, Mr. Tamai, in my view, made a gross error by not verifying the signatures. Verify need verify. And in my view, the chief elections officer and the elections of boundaries department had have the resources, human and otherwise, to verify. Simple thing. When you go register or transfer, you stand against a wall, take a picture, they ask you where you live, directions how to get there, your house if it bungalow or 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 um, upstairs and downstairs, if your house fence, who are your neighbor, all kind of question. Elections and boundaries was tasked with one simple task to go and find out. Paul, you are a registered voter in Port Royal. Um, did you sign a recall petition? That is verification if you have doubts. No, I am not saying that the election records couldn't help, but where there is doubt, you must verify it.